Hi, it's Glenn here, and today we are looking at how to set up the Heat Connect app on your mobile devices. First thing you've got to do is actually check that your NVR is connected to the internet. So what we're going to do here is right click. I have got mine set to not require the password, but normally you would have to put your password in there at this stage. This is just a demo room, so it's fine. We go up to the little cog icon here, click across into network and then down to advanced. And what we're looking for is platform access. So the access type we want is hit connect. I believe it's the only option. And what we want to do is click this enable box here. You can see here that it gives you the service terms, the hit connect Service requires internet access. Please read the service terms and privacy statement before enabling the service. I've done that, so we're going to click OK. Uh, this is the QR code. We won't worry about that just yet. We can, this will pop up again later, and this is how we're going to connect your actual phone to it. So at this stage, we're just going to hit the OK button. Now, we've just made up a verification code here, but that really is only applicable if you enable the stream encryption. Okay, so. Please make sure decryption is supported in the connected system. It is supported in this. I'm actually going to turn it off uh, just to keep things nice and simple. And you don't have to edit this. If you cl click in custom, if you were hosting your own or you had one that was local to your territory, it might come up with a different address for you. But we'll just leave that as default for now. So currently it's set to offline even though we have ticked that because what we now need to do is apply. So we hit the apply and straight away we can see here that the status has now changed and it has gone to online which is exactly what we want before we can get our mobile phone to be connected so now that that's occurred i'm going to grab my mobile device and proceed to the next stage all right over to my mobile device which is an apple device what we're looking for is the Hit Connect app. Now, if you haven't already downloaded that, you would need to go to your app store and obviously connect to it. This is the one that we're looking for, the second one from the top here, Hit-Connect. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to click in. Now, the first thing that you're going to need to do is register yourself as an account. Okay, so in my case, I have got myself already logged in. I've done it with our email address support at securityperth.com.au, but you can also do it with your mobile phone number. So that's stage one. You need to log in, but before you can log in, you need to register. So you open up the app, click on register and choose your email address or choose your mobile phone number. And then if you ever change device, it's as simple as downloading the app and re-logging in using your email or mobile phone again. It will pick up all your cameras, etc., for you later. And while I'm on this screen, I like to turn on the face ID. It just means I don't have to keep putting in the password if I get logged out. Makes things a little bit quicker. All right, so now we are in this stage. I'm going to click the hit connect on the bottom corner. And we can see here that the big red button there says add device. You can also hit the plus icon on the top right hand side and that does the same job. So we click on the add device. It now opens up the camera and that was super quick. But you could see I just literally pointed my phone at the last screen that we had on the NVR, which was the platform access screen. There was the QR code and as soon as my phone spotted that, it immediately found the device that we were looking for here and is giving me the option to add it. So that is literally all we need to do now is click the add button and now we see that it has been completed and I'm going to hit next. Okay, so in this case it's giving me the model number and the serial number but I can actually get rid of all of this and I could call it demo room. You might call it holiday house or home or business if you've got multiple systems. Just makes it easier for you to identify them. We hit the save. And now it comes up as demo room in the app. None of the cameras automatically start streaming. It's a matter of choosing them. So at, when we get into this screen, we can actually click into each individual camera if we like. And you'll see I'm looking at myself because my cameras are right above me on this demo board. If I go back here, now you'll see that that particular camera will be identified as number one. It sort of just takes a little picture of each one. You can go through and add each of them individually just for reference so you don't have to just guess which one you're looking at. 
So that in essence is how you add yourself to Hit Connect and how you get the app up and running on your phone. Another request we get a lot is when someone wants to share those cameras with multiple people. So if you've got a system at home and you've got one at work, you might want to share the work one but not the home one. You would just simply go to it on this screen here. You see that where it says demo room, if we move across to the right, we can see that there is this uh, funny little icon here. If I click on it, let's go back. If I just click on that icon, it gives me the option of sharing this with a recipient. Now, the recipient is someone that has registered on the phone app. They may already have a Hit Connect app themselves, or they may just be a brand new user. So in this case, I have my wife and I've got one of my employees listed. So they have registered themselves. Matt's done it with his mobile. Nikki's actually also done it with her mobile, but let's say I'm gonna share it now with Matt. All I'm gonna do is click on here and then hit the next button. Then I get to choose which of the cameras I am going to share with Matt. So I don't have to share them all. In this case I am, but I could go through and deselect some if they were not applicable or in a sensitive area that I didn't want him to see. In this case, he's getting them all. I'll go to next. And yeah, it's got all of the uh, permissions have been selected. So you can actually choose how much control he has. So if I click into camera one, for example, you know, live view is the standard one, but you can uh, enable or disable remote playback, alarm, two-way audio, and the PTZ controller as well. So I deselect those, hit the little save icon in the top corner there if I wanted to make those changes. All right, so once I've hit finished on that, all of those cameras are now shared with Matt. If he logs, when he re-logs in, he will get a request to accept that invitation. And once he's accepted them, he'll be able to see all of those cameras on his phone. If Matt decides to whatever leaves my employment, all I'll do is go through and unshare the cameras with him. I'll make a separate video for sharing and unsharing later. All right, so as always, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more like it. And feel free in the comments to suggest any upcoming videos that you would like to see. I'm happy to oblige where I can. Okay, until the next video, I'll see you next time.